The overall goal of this procedure is to compare microRNA expression in induced pluripotent stem cells, retinal pigmented epithelial cells derived from induced pluripotent stem cells, and fetal retinal pigmented epithelial cells. This is accomplished by first culturing and expanding iPS cells and fetal RPE. The second step is to differentiate the iPS cells into RPE. Next, the RNA is extracted from the iPS cells, the iPS RPE cells, and the fetal RPE cells. The final step is to perform microRNA microarray analysis on the RNA samples and analyze the data. Ultimately, pathway and network analysis is used to identify differentially expressed microRNAs that are involved in multiple cellular networks, including proliferation and cell cycle progression. This method can help answer key questions in the vision research field, such as the role of microRNA in regulating differentiation into mature RPE, cell cycle progression, proliferation, and senescence. The implication of this technique extend toward therapy using stem cell-derived retinal pigment epithelium to replace disease or damage RPE because the optimal passage number of the cell used of therapy can be determined. So this method can provide insight into the factors that regulate differentiation of RP from IPS. It can also be applied to other organ systems such as differentiation of other TC-specific cell types from IPS. To begin this procedure, plate the induced pluripotent stem cells at about 350 cell colonies per well onto a newly coated plate in mTessr1 media and allow the iPS cell colonies to expand for 4-5 to five days in culture. Then.